is task 19. We're going to be doing cephalic venipuncture on a feline. So we've got our tray of supplies here. We have a EDTA tube. We don't have any vacutainers for the sample that we need to submit today. So um, we will just be using this EDTA tube. Um, we have a 1cc syringe with a 25 gauge needle. Clippers just in case we need to clip the site and alcohol to prep the site. So the assistant's gonna go ahead and restrain the patient and hold off the vein. She's gonna be keeping this um, arm extended for me. So I'm just going to spray the alcohol and I can feel the vein. I'm gonna use my thumb to just stabilize the vein here. Do that one more time. And then we're going to uncap the needle and we want to place the needle in there with the bevel up. So I have my flash there. I'm just going to gently pull back the syringe without collapsing the vein. You just need 0.5, baby. I know. All right, so now that we have our 0.5, I'm going to hold off the vein as I, um, and I'll give that to the assistant to continue to hold off just to prevent any hematoma. I'm gonna go ahead and point, put my 0.5, which you can see that it is 0.5, sample into my tube. And like I said, we don't have a vacutainer for the sample, but if we did, um, all I would do was insert the needle into the tube and let it pull up the amount that it needs without pull it, pushing the plunger in. And it pulls up the exact amount it needs, which we, um, for this one, we're just gonna invert it a few times because we don't want the sample to clot. That's why we used an EDTA. We're gonna go ahead and label this sample with the dog, with the, I'm sorry, with the cat's name and the date. And that is it.